I'm Chris Gould. And I'm Jim. And we're Geeks on Tour. And learn Google Photos. And in this video, I want to give you a quick tour of all that's possible using Google Photos. We took a little trip to the Keys a couple weeks ago, and I took a bunch of pictures with my Samsung Android phone. Let's take a look. Just open Google Photos, and here are the photos. So we started driving down, and then we parked our little RV, and then we took a glass of wine out to watch a sunset. Hey, I have some photos, too. Oh, that's right. But you know what? I don't even have to ask him to send them to me because I use a feature called Partner Shared Library in Google Photos. So let me show you how I would go get a photo from Jim's library. It's under the Sharing tab and Jim's photos. So at any time, either of us have the ability to go through a back door, if you will, and see each other's photos. So I can scroll through until I get to the, where the keys are. This one of our little RV, I think he has a better photo than I do. So I'm looking at his library, but if I tap the save up here, that picture is now in my library. And I'll go back then to my library. And what I'm gonna do now is mark favorites. So we started driving. I'll say, yep, I need this one. My favorite photos are either my best ones or the ones that are important for telling the story. So this one helps tell the story. I just tap on the little star there. It becomes a favorite. I like this one showing our tiny RV. That's a favorite. And this one is a favorite. And this one is a favorite. Now, I love the picture of the wine glass in the sunset, but I have three of them, so let me see. I think I like that one the best. I'll favorite that one. And I certainly like that one. And then tons of pictures of this gorgeous sunset. I'm just going to pick a couple. I like that one. And that one is the best sunset picture, so I will favorite that. And then I'll end with looking in that direction. And there is the picture from Jim's library. I'm going to favorite that one. Now, to look at my pictures without all this clutter, I will just look at my favorites. That's under library and favorites. So now I am just seeing the pictures that I marked as favorite. Now, I want to do some editing. So this picture of the road, I need to zoom in so that you can see that road sign. You tap the edit button, crop, and now you can tell where we are. Done, and I'll always do an auto. That kind of brightens it up a little, and save. The next picture is this one and on this one you can hardly see our little rv but i don't want to zoom in on it i want to point out what a tiny rv that is so i'm going to add some text to this picture you tap on the edit and then it's this little squiggle which is the markup tool first i will draw see we have three tools down here draw highlight and text first i'll draw a little arrow and then I'll type some text and then you tap done and now I can move that text down and size it and adding text I need to save a copy this picture is a beautiful scene but it's a little blah so let's see if we can fix it up edit. First I'm going to crop it. Then I want to add a little bit of color. So I tap on the tuning and there is color, but that didn't do as much as I would like. If I, ta if I scroll down on that, I have lots more choices. And if I just give that a little more warmth, there, that's the sunset that I remember. 
And if you long press on it, you can see what the original was and there's what the new one looks like. And I save. This one is just a little bit dark. If I go into edit and I just make it lighter, that's good, but I don't want to, I don't want to lighten the sunset too much. So instead of making it lighter, I'm going to drill down and I'm just going to say, get rid of some of the shadows. So you see how now I can see Jim more clearly, but the sunset is still properly exposed and save. Now I want to make a collage. Let's just pick a couple. I definitely want that one in the collage. I select it. I want the wine glass and the RV and the road sign and the beautiful sunset. <laughs> I tap plus and collage. Boom. I have a nice collage. I think I'll post that on Facebook. Now realize I was doing this while we were still there. So before we even turn in for the night, I have already selected my best pictures, made them look better, put them into a collage, and post and shared them on Facebook. Just one last thing to show you about how Google Photos works. And that is because it's cloud-based, I can say, gee, I'd rather look at these pictures on a bigger screen like my iPad. And I can open Google Photos and I can go to my favorites. That's under library and favorites. And here are those same pictures with the edits. And that is a quick tour of all that you can do with Google Photos and how it's just fun. Like I say, we did this while we were sitting and drinking our wine and watching the sunset. We get to play with our pictures. When we go to bed, that day is done in our Google Photos.